From the Scripps Studios, this is 10 News. The trial of SEAL Team Leader Eddie Gallagher thrust the elite Navy community into the spotlight. It is just one of several negative incidents involving the special forces, prompting military leaders to call for change. And 10 News anchor Lindsay Pena spoke to a former Navy SEAL about those recent incidents and how they've affected the entire community as a whole there, Lindsay. Yeah, that's right, Kim and Steve. Now, the man I talked to has served in that elite community for more than two decades. He says the recent attention has been difficult because it reflects poorly on every SEAL, even those who haven't done wrong. In a recent letter to commanders, the top U.S. Navy SEAL wrote, we have a problem and wants leaders to identify issues and provide recommendations about how to ensure troops are engaging in ethical and professional behavior. It comes on the heels of several incidents involving SEAL teams and misbehavior, including allegations of drug and alcohol abuse and sexual assault. There was also the recent trial of Eddie Gallagher, the SEAL team leader accused but ultimately acquitted of murder of an ISIS prisoner. He he absolutely had to say something. He absolutely had to put a letter out. This recently retired Navy SEAL, who asked us to conceal his identity, served on one of the elite teams for 24 years. But if you take the SEALs as a whole and the, you factor in the amount of people that have done bad things, uh, and you know, it's we're still way, way above regular society and I would say even regular military as a whole. While some question whether there is a deeper, more systemic issue within the SEAL community, the Marine we spoke with says there are many factors to consider. And no matter what, he believes the majority of those who serve are doing their best. I don't think people truly understand the incredible pressures that Navy SEALs face, not only in combat, but sometimes just general being a Navy SEAL at home as well as overseas. As for the Gallagher trial, I asked what effect it had on our local SEAL community. It generated a lot of attention, but I think the attention it generated, bad, unfortunate, or otherwise, was overplayed and painted a, uh, a picture of us that I think is unfair. Now the letter from that top Navy SEAL gives commanders until August 7th to identify problems and suggest solutions. In the studio, Lindsay Pena, 10 News. Lindsay, thank you.